Anduin versus Morgul. Hey, how's it going? All right, it's time for some priest today. I hit legend yes uh, this morning, so that's cool. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so uh, the thing about this priest, it's kind of like a, it has dragons in it, but I would not consider it like the same type of Reno dragon priest that some of the other lists have been running. Um, I'm not even really using the Twilight Whelp, so it's not really a tempo. The big, big difference between this list is it's not a tempo list. You're supposed to be behind with this list. More of a control list. Hey, welcome to my stream. Do need to be careful with the dragons in this list since I have very few dragons. One, two, three, four. So I have a Queen of the Drake, one, two, three, four, five. So we have four, six. Uh, this play does hex turn. Seems like he's a mid range shaman. Nice. The reason I was thinking of coining him out is for my Talon Priest. If I have a good target for Talon Priest, it'll be a really good situation for me, but... It is playing into his Hex turn, so... Brief Candles, thanks for the resub. Great YouTube content lately, Strife. Thank you. Welcome back to the Strife crew. Here's a Crow Fist. Looks like he's building up. Kind of feels a little bit bad to play my only dragon, but... I'm just gonna slow down here since uh, it's unlikely he can't deal with Talon Priest. And at this point it's not about tempo. For me I have two dragon fire potions. Not really gonna be able to contest the board just with the Talon Priest here anyways. Why this list are the traditional one? I, I want to try something different with, with uh, Dragon Priests, since the, almost all the Dragon Priests right now are tempo. Even Reno Dragon Priests are tempo lists right now. This will give me the Dragon for Operative. We mostly need to answer for the dragon right now, for dragon, the double dragon for a potion. I actually unactivated my Reno to kill the first Azure Drake, because I have two Azure Drakes in my deck. But Azure Drake's a really good draw for me right now too, so that's another reason why I entombed it. I'm gonna make sure I play a dragon for a potion that I didn't discover, so that he doesn't have another one. Uh, wondering what you would think about control slash Nazoth Shaman. Do you think it's worth it for a free to play or player craft? I mean, as far as that stuff goes, I guess. Uh, Matter would have to be no. I mean, if you don't care, like, hmm. I'm assuming if you're asking me, you care about your dust a lot, and you're trying to craft a good deck, you know, so. I don't think it's like a top, top thing. I kinda, I kinda call this stuff like the tricksy kind of priest, cause you can do a lot of cool stuff with pint size potion and potion of madness. Cabal Shadow Priest. This kind of list started from a Control Priest, where I had just had two of all those cards and no Reno. I still have that list right now. I didn't really try it. I just started trying it with from a Reno list first. I kind of want to play on Bloodlust here. Okay, so I can actually steal the five 
you know, this guy if I want to, but you know, it's not really going to be that great. I guess just try to keep as healthy as possible. We have Pyro clears. That's fairly good. We can cast two spells with Pyro pretty easily. Talon Priest the Pyro to give it more health or it can heal at some point. Alright, so we need to cast another spell after Showered Pain, which is the weird thing. Uh, I mean, I can just cast something technically. I'm gonna lean up towards Push Madness being better than Pine Size here. So I'm gonna choose to use this one instead. I'm gonna lean towards is more important to activate this dragon than the bookworm. Kind of need stuff to do. I is pretty good here, actually. Gives me a 3-3 three, three and a 2-2. Two, two. <laughs> By pain, we can just use potions that also better targets for pain. Can't a taunt totem, so uh, it would block my potion to clear. <laughs> These are some good draws to activate dragons. Like I said, one of the weaknesses of this deck is that there aren't a lot of dragons to activate these cards. Young Green Star, thanks for the sub. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Here's a Crow Fist. Nice. Got a Raza too. I probably don't want to uh, use too many cards here because he still has Lightning Storms left over, so I think we're just going to play the Aya and hold back. Like, if I want to use all my mana, I would play double five here, but... Let's just go ahead and save those. Got just a card in this list, too. Just to keep, uh, keep healing myself a lot with, with Raza. If you activate uh, uh, Raza first, you can actually play two hero powers in the just card turn for both zero mana. So that's really cool. <laughs> Oh, pretty good mood today. Just been chilling. I'm not even gonna play Kazakus here. It's just, uh... I don't think the pressure should be on me to do something right now. There's something, something to play because I can get the spell that buffs my guys? Hmm. I mean, he's dead here in like two turns. I have 13 times two. I'm just gonna go face everything. And try to get a kill next turn, force him to do something else here. Mizuma 10,000, thanks for the resub. One year of the crow. <laughs> So one year, huh? Welcome back. Here's a crow fist. Okay. Hmm, how does this work? I think we slammed down Aya here. I mean, uh, Raza. I use this deck to reach legend. The light shall bring victory. I 
if I actually kind of have a tempo opening like this, it's actually really good because then the rest of my deck is more reactive too, and I can actually just get like a free ride for having board control against um, against Warlock here. It's pretty cool. I like this card a lot. Probably my best two drop in this matchup. Playing Bran here and through will be very contingent on what I draw. Like I, I think I won't play him unless I get a Discover minion. Okay, so I'm gonna actually hold the Historian, right? Because Bran has a high chance of surviving on three in this matchup. He basically needs to Shadow Bolt it. I wonder if he's looking for Soulfire Corruption. If it's Corruption, I can still, you know, get the battle cry off. Once upon a time. Well, let's try to get him to 15. Now, Dorma is just the 9 mana 8 8. This is a 6 mana 9 9. Assuming that you don't care about the effect, which I think is kind of doubtful. Oh, that would have been weird. Hmm, might still be the right play. I thought that was Potion of Madness. No, 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 it's a waste. You think this is funny? I think my priority here is just to keep Brand alive. I could have this as a 2 3 and this is a 2 2, but that's just weak to Hellfire, right? And this is weak to Coil, sure, but. Uh, I think Bran, the priority is just way too high, so... Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator! Okay, let's go with the board. Let's value the double draw here. I could coin Cabal... Shadow Priest, but then I'm still not confident holding this board because of cards like Shadow Flame. Uh, I just want to get the draw in. It's still like, I still have to do some trades. I've excavated after. Plus, I really want to save Pint Size Cabal together. It's a really good combo. I can't steal this, but I can steal anything with five or less. So I can steal like something like Sylvanas Emperor, all those cards. This trade is kind of bad for me in, in some ways, but then it sets his guy to one health and I have two one, one drops to trade for it. I could actually steal that. Probably the right play. It's kind of what I've been waiting for. Unfortunately, I don't get like double battle cry value. I don't get to, uh, I mean, not double battle cry, double, you know, potion value. I don't get to take some trade into his other minion, but. Why not Ysera? That's the thing I'm really thinking about. Ysera is actually pretty cool with Raza, I realize, because part of the problem with using Ysera is that you can't hero power when you play Ysera 9. So with Raza, you don't have that problem. Helps with one more dragon. Might be okay to entomb that if I have no other answer. How badly do we want a giant? Not that badly. Okay. Power shield first. Just so we can draw our death. Let's go ahead and not overcommit too much to this board. I feel like I'm owning all these Warlocks for some reason. I want to play around Twisted Nether a little bit here. Archthief for Fom. I am not a big fan of that card at all. 
Feels like it's just a bad card. Does all can I do anything for me? I don't think so. I don't really have those cards. Oh, it does help with my hero power, and I have just a card. Oh, interesting. Chogol's just it's a bigger minion, 7-7, seven, seven, which is quite a bit bigger, but it doesn't offer the burst. Yeah. Because if I get just a car, I can go. Well, okay, I haven't played Roz yet, but I get Roz and Justicar, I can do a lot of cool stuff, right? I can burst someone for like six for zero mana. Alright, I'm all in. He is used to Twisting Nether, but he still has uh, something to go through as the card Shadow Flame. After I play Corruptor, I can. I can play the Draconid Crusher too, so I like this a bit better than um, Kazakus here. It should be better to develop some face damage than to, say, two minions. Like, I could save the Corruptor and go Kazakus and Talon Priest and have a bigger board, but there's still Shadow Flame to deal with, which pretty much clears me. So I'd rather get like this guaranteed three face damage in. And I want to get this dragon out of the way so I can play my Crusher. Because I need to play the Corruptor before the Crusher. I don't think 99's like super good yet. He still has Siphon left. And maybe Blast Crystal. Definitely a risky play. If I had one more mana actually after X I would have played Kazakus and Talon Priest, but solo Kazakus here, it just dies to the Blood Fury, so I mean I think two minions here is better than one, even if they're less power. It's really weak to siphon. My eyes are open. One off lethal. If I had um uh, Raza, I would have lethal here. I can force him to use his Reno if he has it by Dragonfire hitting him to one and playing Kazakus. I decided not to play Kazakus here because I guess it's the easy target for his weapon to kill. Like he's his Reno back to 15, you can kill it. Oh, nice. <laughs> I have this too. I can uh, make it cost zero. 